Welcome or welcome back to Disney Love and Fam. We are making these DIY mini ears scrunchies and they are adorable. I went ahead and did two different kinds. I'm going to show you the first set. I grab my ear template, trace around, do that four times, then cut them out. And then you'll do the black material and then you will also do the black sequin material as well. I double layered the material because the black sequins are see-through. And we're gonna go ahead and cut out the bow. I did do a four by five for this one, the Beauty and the Beast bow. I actually did a smaller one, and that is because I didn't want to cover the characters on the Beauty and the Beast scrunchie. But with this one, I'm not covering any characters, so I went ahead and went with a bigger bow. I double layered the bow as well because again, the sequin material is see-through. This is red felt. We're just going to outline and take the excess sequins that are over and fold them over. This gives the bow a nice sewn look without it actually being sewn. So you're just gonna go along the rest of the sides and fold those over as well. And then you are going to cut off the excess in the corners. Look how nice that looks. It looks sewn, but it's not sewn. Then we're going to form the bow. We're gonna run the hot glue around the edges. I did not use stuffing on this bow because since it is a DIY mini ear scrunchie, I didn't want to add extra weight to it. I do usually add stuffing to the DIY video Minnie Mouse headband ears that I do, go ahead and check those videos out too. I've got several of those and several more coming. I use the scrap material then to tie the middle to create the bow. And then we are going to cut out some extra sequin material to, do, to cover that scrap material then that we formed the bow with. We're going to kind of fold over like so, and then we're just going to go to the bottom of the bow and glue, and then go around, pull it around tight, and then glue on, again on the bottom around. Usually I like to run a bead of hot glue, but with this smaller bow, it actually showed the hot glue coming through the sequence, and I did not like that. But the DIY Minnie Mouse ear headbands that I do, I do usually run the beading, and it doesn't show and I think it's because it's just bigger. So I did not do it for the, the scrunchies. Now we are going to start working on the ears and we're going to start with the black material first. I didn't put the stuffing in yet. I glue about three fourths of the way, cut off the edges, and then I'm going to take some stuffing then and stuff it in. And I'm going to kind of work my fingers in there, use my thumb to kind of push it in more, kind of make sure that it's formed the way I want it to. And then we're going to seal then the bottom. And I did do a full circle. I did not do the arch like you see in the headband ears. The reason for this is because I want to kind of put the ears down in the scrunchie and bring the scrunchie material up around because I want to make it solid for these DIY mini ear scrunchies. And the scrunchie idea, not my idea. I do not claim this idea in any way. I actually saw a DIY post on Facebook that somebody had done and I thought they were really cute. So I decided that I wanted to make some for, for myself. And so I thought I would post it on my channel. Again, not claiming this idea whatsoever. Once we've gotten the sequin material now over we are going to go ahead and glue these together like so. I'm just going to press around the edges. And I really enjoyed making these scrunchies. These scrunchies were really fun. They were kind of just a spin off of DIY mini ear headbands. And like I had mentioned before, I have several headbands already listed on my channel and how I made them. I've got several more coming, so go ahead and subscribe and check out those other videos as well. And to cover the seam, I just took some extra sequin material 
and we're just gonna run a beading like so and I just kind of pull a little bit get it in there and then if there's any that is kind of sticking up I just go around and cut it off like so and then look there is one ear and it looks super cute now we're gonna take the scrunchie I put in a bun former some people had said that they used a jar to put their scrunchie around to sew. I did go ahead and sew. I'm gonna show you kind of how to knot right here. You're gonna wrap it around your finger and kind of brush it off and pull and it creates a little knot. And the reason why I did decide to sew and not use hot glue is I wanted to make sure that it was solidified. I go through the material. I bring the scrunchie material kind of up and inset the ear. Then I go directly through the scrunchie material and the ear you want to try to hide it don't make it obvious i did use black thread in order to not have it stick out i go directly through the ear and through the scrunchie about five times or so just to make sure that it's it's really sewn on there and because it is double layered it was a little bit harder to push through so see i'm using the desk here to kind of try to push but the desk didn't fully work and because I actually broke a needle <laughs> and so I went and got my thimble and the thimble worked perfectly to go ahead and push the rest of the way in and then after I've gone through directly the scrunchie and the ear I go around and tack the sides and you can kind of bring up the material a little bit more so really it looks like you have the arch because the material is coming up around it if you can kind of look closely you're gonna see that I just tack all the way around and then I tie it off and then I cut off the, the excess thread. You can kind of see now, see where it comes up more, it makes that arched look on the bottom of the ear. It looks more like the headbands then we are going you did the up you do the exact same thing on the other ear and I did do spacing of about I spread the material on top about two inches out because I'm gonna bring that material back in to still have that scrunchy look and then it will only be an inch apart but then you go ahead and tack the bow to the front and then go ahead and tie that off and then do the back side as well and you don't have to do tons, but I did probably three or four tacks on each side of the bow. And then you have it like so. And then we are going to tack the bow to the ears because a scrunchie can kind of make the ears come out more. So if you tack the bow to the ears, it keeps the bow, it keeps the ears up more and it looks like the perfect set of Mickey ears on a scrunchie or mini ears. So we're going to tack the corners. I only tacked the corners. Did a few tacks on the bottom then of each side and then I do the few tacks on the top. Look at that cute mini ear scrunchie. How cute. I absolutely loved these. They were so adorable, so much fun to make. I have a picture here once they were done. And then I did put them on my daughter to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like in the hair. Super cute. Now I'm going to do the Beauty and the Beast scrunchie ears. Do kind of the same thing, except I did use white foam for this because it is white material. I did not double layer, but the same exact principles that we did for the other set of of scrunchy ears we're doing for this the only thing that's slightly different is the bow size and because these ones are single layered and not double layered it made it easier to sew through these ears and not really have to use a thimble
For the trim on these, I did get some ribbon from Hobby Lobby. It is a royal blue shimmer trim ribbon. And I thought that they worked very nicely. So I just outline like so, and then I wrap that around and cut off the excess. Isn't that cute? So cute. You're gonna do the same exact steps for the other ear. Then we are going to do the smaller bow. Exactly the same steps as the red bow that you saw earlier. Take this scrap material, tie it in the middle to form the bow, and then do this piece to wrap around to give it a finished look. Tack it around the one side, kind of fold over, and then glue on the other side there. Look at that cute bow. And again, we did that smaller so it didn't cover the characters. I'm just showing you I went directly through. Then I went around and stitched like the other one. Did the same thing on the other set or the other side. Did the bow the same way. And then tacked the bow directly to the ears as well. These mini ear scrunchies were so much fun to make. So cute. Go ahead and check out some of our other videos on our channel. And if you liked this, click that like button and subscribe.